Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you how to aim with the character, how to get him to face where you want him to. I'm gonna show you how to do this with the controller and with the mouse. So right now he's doing neither, so let's go ahead and start setting up the controller. As for these commented out parts, just ignore them, they're for a different thing. If I get that working, I'll probably make a tutorial on how to get that working. So first off, you're gonna wanna do input maps. I'm gonna do aim. I'm gonna do aim up, aim down, aim left, aim right. So these are just like the UI. So we have UI up, UI left, UI down, but they're gonna be for the other joystick. Click the add button, joystick axis. Instead of adding the left stick, we wanna add the right stick. So we're gonna add right up for up. And this is gonna add, so right up. I'm gonna add another one, joystick axis, right down. That's going to be the down. Right left. And right right. So now we should be able to accept the aim up, aim down, aim left, aim right. So now you're just going to go in here and it's going to look a lot like the movement. So we're going to do var look vector equals vector 2. You could also do dot zero. But well, I usually just do this. So anyways, we're gonna do look vector. I spelled that wrong. Vector. Okay, so we're gonna do it exactly like this, but instead of UI, we're gonna do aim equals input dot get action strength. UI, right? But instead, it's going to be aim, right? Equals or minus input dot get action strength. Aim left. If you want to duplicate, just control D. That'll give you another one. And then we just change this to Y. This to down. This to up. Now this is gonna be a vector that'll give us the direction to look essentially. Now if we wanted to, we could do look at, and then you give it a position. We're just gonna do position, which is our current position. We're gonna add this vector, look vector. Now we run it simply and I can move around. But if you notice, when I start moving, sometimes he like jumps back to a weird position or he jumps around. This is actually because right when I let go of the joystick, then it snaps to one of the positions. So in order to get rid of that, we're gonna add a dead zone. So I went ahead and added that variable here, um, very dead zone. 0 0.2 seems to be a good one for that. And we're just gonna add it on ready. So function, ready we're gonna do input map action set dead zone aim up dead zone now this is gonna make so that our up has a dead zone so it's if it's barely being pushed, it's going to be seen as not getting pushed. You could also do this for a movement, which will help fix drift if you have drift in your controller. I don't have drift in my controller, but I'm going to add it anyways, just in case anyone who plays this game does have drift. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this to eight times. So we're going to do aim up, aim down, aim left, aim right. I'm going to go ahead and add an entry there. UI up, so when we go ahead and run this, it's going to be a lot smoother, and it's not going to snap back as much, and if your controller has drift, he won't drift around too much. Also you could add a dot normalized, that'll make it a bit smoother, I find it to be basically the same. Now, if you wanted to do this exact same thing with the mouse, it's actually quite a bit simpler. If you're doing the mouse, you don't actually need the aim up, aim down, aim left, or aim right. You could go ahead and comment this out. 
and you just do look at global mouse position. With a mouse, it's quite a bit simpler. So that's going to get the position of the mouse. Look at it. So this is with a mouse. This is with a controller. Okay, hopefully I was able to help you guys with that. And if you have any questions, you could go ahead and ask down below. If you want to talk to me personally, you could go join my Discord. Thanks.